What's up, YouTube? It's Team Ice bringing you guys a update, I guess, post patch with aggressive catchers. Everybody, you know, everybody, everybody, everybody was having just really hating life with the <coughs> triple coverage I catch. So I did a little experiment and I tried one on one 10 times and then I tried a two on one 10 times. Now, this is with the legends and the <clears throat> oh, I think it's like elites or something like that. So I have Julio Jones on this side of the field. We have Rod Woodson over there. And then I would man up for the 2v1 Ronnie Lott to Julio Jones. And the play is Pat's Vert. Now, this was a very popular play that was right in the clip series. Simply because the ad catch was just super glitchy because you're just getting a one-on-one -on -one coverage. I'll show you guys. This is a one-on-one. -on -one. This is against a cover four drop. So there's no match principles behind it. Running a motion out. Julio Jones look for ad catch you'll notice look at how the defender reacts now so one-on-one -on -one, we're gonna pass lead it inside and just get a get a better one-on-one -on -one. let's just try playing the sticks playing the sticks I think it's kind of broke right now to be honest so yeah I'll show you what happens with a hook curl <laughs> it's kind of crazy so we're gonna go ahead play the sticks try to get we're gonna actually hop off Ronnie lot real fast just get on the D line Look for a high point pass to Julio Jones. Pass lead it to the inside. Now that was triple coverage right there. That was playing the sticks. I don't know why it did that. I guess it's a zone coverage behind it. So let's just do that one more time. This time we're gonna I'm gonna move Rod Woodson out a little bit more. See if he doesn't get sucked down that way. Motion out Julio Jones. 1v1. I really want to show you guys the kind of animation that you're going to be getting now on defense. So one on one, we're going to pass lead it to the inside just to execute that. So you can see right there, that time it was picked off. Most times what's going to happen on a one on one, it's going to be two different animations. You still have that one handed snag animation where he like jumps up, catches it with one hand, brings it to his body and drops it to the ground. That's still, the animation is still in the game. But it seems like they give the defenders some more animations to combat the one on one ag catches to kind of tone it down a little bit. So try one more time then we'll move on to a 1v2 situation pass lead it and that was a bad that was just a bad ah, we, we, we gotta try that again that was just a really bad throw bad timing everything just everything was bad about that everything 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 was <laughs> went wrong right there one thing also cover three is uh even more so broke now it's still not fixed uh, it's still not very good defense so just keep that in mind if you guys are running cover three there's still really good easy ways to expose it like this play alone beats cover three just <laughs> Like this, it's crazy. We go ahead, <clears throat> snap the ball. I'm gonna pass lead it to the inside because I want that one on one. There you go. You see that one handed snag is still in the game. So that's a one on one with Rod Woodson and Julio Jones. Now, height wise, it probably doesn't match up, but it kind of gives you the idea. So the results I got from testing this about 10 times, now you could test this a lot more, but just from the 10 times I tried it. A one-on-one -on -one catch, you're going to get about 40% of the time. Now, 2v2, the best way that I could probably get this is by banning up uh, Ronnie Lott. Don't worry about the middle of the field. I'm just looking for Julio Jones. We're going to man up Ronnie Lott to Julio Jones. I'm actually going to move Ronnie Lott down a little bit. And you'll notice... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. You'll notice that ad catches are a lot less common. I got a result of 10%. So <clears throat> one time out of 10, you're going to get an ag, a successful ad catch in double coverage. Now, triple coverage, it drops down even more. So just give you guys an idea. I think I haven't really tested it, but from what I have noticed in triple coverage, it's probably like 5% or less that you're going to get a successful ad catch. So I think EA kind of did a good job with the elimination of ad catches because usually on one-on-one -on -one with like a Randy Moss or Julio Jones, to your top tier, like even a Deion Sanders, he's short, but a top tier corner that has height would still get a pretty high success rate. So dropping it down to 40% and then 10%, I think's pretty darn good if you ask me. I'm I'm happy with that. Go ahead and motion out Julio Jones. We've got Ronnie Lott manned up. We've got Rod Woodson in the outside quarter. Snap the ball. The pass lead to the inside just to get a better, better uh animation but you can see right there Ronnie Law is now swatting the ball what the heck Ronnie Law is now swatting the ball instead of just getting ag caught on so let's just go ahead and do that again man him up motion out Julio Jones so this kind of brings me to the next part we're gonna find a new way to score in the red zone since ag catches aren't nearly as viable as they were so ag catch look at that they're batting the ball away that's the animation that you're gonna get very very frequently we're going to instant replay real fast 
So yeah, I catches and double coverage are pretty much dead, which I'm I, I like. I think it was stupid that you could do that just blindly. So we're gonna fast forward. All right, so you see Ronnie Law and Rod Woodson are on him. They are both. We got Rod Woodson. We got both of them looking at the ball. They know the ball is coming, right? <clears throat> we high point pass that to Julio Jones, who arguably one of the best wide receivers in the game, especially Regs. We are. We look, 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 look. look. This is the animation they have to believe they've added. He swats. Rod, I think that's Ronnie Lott. Rod Woodson swats. They've got Ronnie Lott swatting the ball out as well into double coverage. So it's nice because ad catches are out of the game. And let's just try that one more time just to make sure it wasn't like some fluke or going to man up Ronnie Lott. Now, yes, this exposes the middle of the field. Absolutely. So this is just trying to get a better representation of what a triple or a double coverage catch would look like. So we're going to move out Ronnie Lott a little bit. Just to give you guys a very <clears throat> a better example of what may happen on a double coverage. So we're going to try this one more time. We're going to go ahead and snap the ball. High point to the inside just to make sure we get that double coverage and we just sail the ball. Holy crap. I don't even know who that is. Tom Brady. Tom Brady, apparently the best quarterback. <laughs> we're going to man him up. Julio Jones. Try that again. See if we can't get this double coverage ad catch. Happening. I got it to happen one time out of ten. We're gonna pass it to the inside, and you can see right there, it is picked off. So it seems from the times that I have got the ball in the position, it's either been knocked down, intercepted, or just not a good animation for catching in general. So I think it's from the test that I've done. You guys can try it out yourselves in practice mode or in a game. And let me know. <clears throat> but from the test that I have done, it seems the double coverage and especially triple coverage ad catches are officially dead. So that leads me to try to figure out a new way for you guys to be able to score in the red zone. One on one, still pretty. It's okay. It's not like it's definitely not something you guys should be relying on a lot like it did before the patch. Before the patch, you could just blindly throw it up and most times come down with it. But they knocked it down to, it seems like, 40%, at least four times out of 10. You're going to get a one-on-one -on -one ag animation, which is still glitchy because you still have that one-handed catch. But, you know, it's kind of dead at the same time. So, anyways, I think I'm going to stay in the practice mode, figure out some new ways for you guys to get some glitchy red zone dots and until next time this has been team master see ya